Hey you guys, Roby here with the Divi Engine team. Welcome to the Divi Machine Documentation. In this video, I'll be demystifying the high-level concept of linked post types and two awesome ways you can use them in Divi Machine. So let's get going. Okay, so the best way for us to dive into this is to start talking about what a linked post type is. And basically, linked post types are any type of relationship where there's a one to many relationship. So we are going to be working with the example in this video, which is going to be talking about a car dealer and cars. So we're going to have the car dealer post type, which is the one. And then we have the car post type, which is the many, because one dealer would have many cars, but one car probably does not have many dealers. Now, another example of this could be maybe when you're looking at a single car page where there is a related post type. So let's say I'm looking at a specific car page. The dealer might have other cars that it has listed on the site, and that could be listed as related posts at the bottom of that page. Now, there is obviously a very wide application for this. So thinking about businesses that might have multiple locations, you'll have location, which is going to be the one custom post type, and the team, many custom post type. Or maybe you're thinking about a real estate site and real estate listings where you'll have an agent representing properties. That's going to be your one relationship and the various properties that they represent, which will be the many. Now, you can probably start seeing how this is an extremely powerful feature. So what are the different ways that we can utilize this? Now, we kind of touched on it before, but let's just go through that again a little bit. We're going to be utilizing this within Divi Machine in two different ways. It's going to be a link post type. So when you're thinking about that dealership, you might think of an index page listing all the cars listed by that dealership. Now, the other way we utilize this is in the related context. So maybe you've got a single post page or a detail page of a car on a classifieds website where you maybe want to list the other cars that are being sold by the specific dealership representing this car. So you could list them at the bottom of that page. Now, if this was a real estate website or example, you might be talking about properties and you're looking at a single property page and you want to list the realtor on the side, but you also want to show the other properties at the bottom of that page that this realtor is representing. It's a very cool feature. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the two implementations we just discussed. But first, we need to talk about the post object. Now, what is the post object? This is basically the glue that keeps it all together. It's what creates that relation between the two posts. All it is, it's a field that you add to your custom post in advanced custom fields, and that goes and creates the connection between the two posts. Now, you'd be utilizing this whether you're setting up linked or related link posts. So let's walk through that journey on how we would go about setting this up right now. Okay, so we're gonna kick off with linked post types. And the idea with the link post type is to link one post with another post to show the data from the other post on the current post. Uh, yeah, I know that sounds extremely confusing. Now there are two ways that we can do this. Now I use this example already. We have one post type that is assigned to another post type. Let's call them cars, continuing with the example here, for custom post type one, and dealerships for custom post type two. Now you can show all the custom post types of one that is linked to custom post type two. Now remember, in this example, our cars is the many, and our dealership is the one. So that's a one-to-many relationship. Now the second way is gonna be where you have custom post type two, that is linked to custom post type one. So now we're talking about the dealership that is linked to the car. So now when you're looking at that specific cars page, you'll see the dealership maybe on the right-hand column that is associated with that car. It's a really great way and a fantastic implementation of doing this. Okay, so we need to talk about the other implementation also, which is gonna be the related link posts. So that's coming up right now. Okay, so next up, we've got the related link posts. Now, the idea with these are is to show posts that are related to the current post based on that post object that we discussed earlier. 
And remember, post object is what creates the link between two different post types. Now you can have a related link post, which will show more custom post type ones. And remember, those are the cars that are assigned to the same custom post type two. And in our example, that is the dealer. So again, maybe you have a bar at the bottom of the single product page for the car or the detail page for the car that will list other cars sold by the specific dealership. Now, another implementation of this, and this one's really cool, is where you can show more custom post type ones, cars that are of your choosing. So you can actually specify the other cars. So maybe the dealership wants to show you if you're looking at a BMW, other BMWs, not just any old car, because they know you're shopping for a BMW, or maybe there's a sale and they want to feature the sale cars. There's a million different ways you can utilize this, but just the one will create that automatic connection for you and just show generic custom post types one, the cars that are associated with the custom post type two dealer. And then the other one is just specific. You can show on the car page any other cars that you want to that is selected or whatever type of sale or whatever you're doing, whatever your specific implementation is. So those are related linked posts and a great feature within Divi Machine. And that's really it, guys. So I covered some heavy topics in this video. That's why I split it up into three. Next up, we're going to be looking at creating linked posts and then also creating those related link posts. So if this video didn't cover everything that you were looking for regarding Divi Machine, definitely check out our documentation site at help.diviengine.com or contact our amazing support team. They're eagerly waiting to support you and sort out any issues that you might have. That's it from me, Roby, with the Divi Engine team. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.